Uh, uh, first things first, I would like to break this grip, right? Or break the, the spider hook. And then I like to grab the belt, sit back, squat down, and I use my knee to, to take away uh, his uh, shallow lasso. And then, once I'm here, I'm gonna open, let go of my grip, and I'm gonna open my elbow out to the side here. And you'll see the difference usually is, if this elbow is down, I can kind of smash this knee down, and I can start breaking this grip and pass. If he still opens this elbow, because he doesn't want me no. to smash this. I'll <laughs> grab the opposite uh, wrist and I try to like pull it a little bit up from the ground so I have some space here to move underneath. I'll throw my leg over the hips and here's a little like slight, uh, what should I call it, like uh, break dance movement. <laughs> You're throwing your leg around, you fall down, you can come back into the same position. Especially if you you like scrambles, you can kind of catch it in a lot of positions. So you're really just looking for that elbow to be open? To be honest, kind of yeah. <laughs> so like, Deep half guard, for example. So let's say people oh, hide the hand underneath that. That, that might there. be the yeah. case, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I always look for this. And sometimes I'll, they'll even be like, "Oh no, I'm getting swept. Don't, don't do this to me." And then from here you're already yeah. just straight out right over the head. Yeah. I keep those elbows so, closed. So you have like all these situations where you kind of can set it up from, and uh, if you're able to recognize it, you can 